What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today, me and Adam. Good morning, Whoa. good afternoon. What time is it? It's lunchtime. Ah, good afternoon. <laughs> We're off to do, hey, do you know what Haikyo is? Haikyo? Yeah. No, I think it's Haikyo or Haikyo. Haikyo, uh, volleyball. No, all right, fine. It's a different word, but it means like uh, abandoned. That's like the Japanese word they use for urban exploring. So we're gonna go and visit a hotel that I know, which is by the beach, and uh, break into it. Sweet, yeah, yeah, man. All right, let's do it. Right, so today, so long story short, uh, I was just telling Adam this story, but I will tell you guys so you know. About 10 years ago, when I first came here, I had a friend who was an Italian chef. And uh, one day he called me out of the blue because his uh, assistant had called in sick and he was doing the catering for a big wedding. So I went to this, um, to this wedding basically to help out. And what happened was, um, we did all the cooking and stuff and then there was this massive after party in this amazing uh, apartment complex and the actual the um, dinner party itself was in this hotel there was a super super cool hotel it was like a luxury place and you know it had a spa for ladies to get facials and all that kind of stuff and it was just a really really nice beautiful place all chandeliers and the downstairs area was kind of like open like so you could die in alfresco and we, we stayed in the room a couple of nights and the rooms were super nice all like t super tiled um, bathrooms like Spanish villa style and stuff so it was a really cool cool place now a few years ago when I was coming to the beach this beach I noticed that no one was there and it was like boarded up so I was like what the hell's going on here and uh, yeah so a couple of months ago I came back here as well and yeah it is completely abandoned and sort of going derelict by the looks of it so today we're gonna go and try and get into it and have a look around because back in the day it was real real nice it was you know I would say luxury so what's happened to it I don't know I guess the owners of decided not to continue with it or whatever but the guy who owned it was a super rich guy who owns tons and tons of buildings in, in our city and uh, this Italian guy I, I, he moved to Tokyo to start his own restaurant but back in the day he was like almost like the rich guy's caretaker like a personal assistant more than anything and he had the keys to every single one of this guy's buildings so <laughs> back in the day we used to go out drinking together in the, around the Nagoya station and then he'd say he'd pick up these girls because he was an Italian stallion he'd just pick up all these girls and say hey I've got my own apartment just around the corner you want to come back for some wine some vino and all these girls like young like he was old as well he was probably 50 and all these young girls would be like yeah yeah let's go and we'd go and you know he'd end up shagging them and sometimes I did too but I always felt like the um like like a spare part when I was with him because he was just so full on like totally not my style of like how to pull chicks he was like come on let's go to the bedroom and literally just drown I, it's border, borderline rape but they they all seem to uh to want to do it because they thought he was rich you know money grabbing girls and stuff but uh yeah so that's where we're headed to now we're just around the corner if I can remember where it is we've come in a different way today because we took the highway but um yeah I think we're just here now so let's do a wheelie but yeah this is it and a kaifu medical salon kaifu residence so up in there there's all look, look there's still plants and tables and chairs and stuff Egyptian sphinx don't know why but yeah this it's kind of messy looking but unbelievably this used to be amazing it's so crazy man this place used to be like VIP luxury as fuck now look at the state of it I reckon there's a way to get in though well, there's a window over there oh, that's been a great... uh, 
I mean, here is the way to get in, right? Yeah. Nowhere else. So we can look if it's uh, more subtle. Yeah. The other thing I, th I like is like that's a hotel, so probably no one's going to be looking this way. Right. And like, yeah. Oh, that's the easiest way in. <laughs> nice. Right, let me go and have a piss then. This is scary shit, bro. Man, I already. Yeah, this is, I remember, I remember this courtyard. Wow, I like the raggedy fucking parasol. Oh yeah. Should have brought a torch. How come there's still glass that's unsmashed? <laughs> I don't know, but better not smash it. Yeah, I'm not. I'll resist the edge. Yeah. Then at least we can't get done for destruction of property. Holy shit, man. I came to a party here. This is insane. Was this the cup you used? It was. Yeah. It was that exact was cup. It, did it have the same dead beetle in it? Yeah, it was um, <laughs> to make me more virile. No way. <laughs> yeah, that's the chandeliers I was thinking about. There was better ones than that. And this is where I was doing my cooking and stuff, bro. Chopping you know, onions. Sous -chef. Actually, I wasn't. It was you towards didn't do the back. Any no, I <laughs> did. I did, but it was towards the back. Asahi beer, super dry. Want a beer? I would love a beer. Get it down, yeah. you son. I'm upstairs, bro. You're upstairs? Yeah. There's still hand soap and stuff in here. Over here, can you see my light? It's, it's crazy, bro. Oh look, here's the birthing chair. What the hell, man? That's pretty weird. Yeah. yeah there's a camera, there's a... GoPro. Right. Yeah, yeah. someone been shagging. Next to a sh is that a syringe? <laughs> yeah, I think it is a syringe. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, it looks kind of grimy. Like, lie down. Yeah. Put a sheet. What is that? Over it. That's got to be worth loads of money. Oh, look, it's like a, is it a dentist one? It is a dentist chair, isn't it? Yeah. Hollywood smiles. How wasteful. Oh look, there's a, there's a DVD here, bro. The Colossal Kesak Dance of Bali. Oh man. 500 Half Naked Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Featuring more than 500 Half Naked Man. Man. Nothing better what than What is it with the shower heads being brought up? I don't understand. What could that be for? Is it for like smoking bongs or something? Maybe. There's quite a lot of here cigarettes. There's more steps here. Is there? Is there? Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Keys. Mm. Keys to my heart. Where's Apparently. the safe? You see if they left any gold in the safe. <laughs> Tapestry. Well, this must be the, the luxury room, so. Yeah, it's really Holy shit. shit. <laughs> it's that bird shit. That is a chair and a half, son. Hang on. <laughs> oh god, he's got a little dark. Gangster up. Okay. 
Now, why have they left this door open? Someone's deliberately opened it. Oh yeah, this is the luxury suite, isn't it? Massive separate kitchen, nice big bath. Yeah, elephant lamp shade. The shower head's not broken. It's got a fucking sauna, bro. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yeah, let's uh, open that. <laughs> Whoa, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> like the GoPro is coping with all these light changes. It most certainly won't be. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Don't steal the silverware. Hey, look, crazy boat. Staff members. They don't like yours, Matt. Hey? <laughs> Silverware, holy shit. I wonder if any of it's real. Yeah. I think the Turks would have had it. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee anything that thing is worthless. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, look, cheese grater. Wow, man. Crazy. That picture's pretty weird. Um, I think I might take it and put it by the cups of tea, just for the next person. <laughs> Get in there is a... Uh... You're all messed up, man. <laughs> there Do is a... Dr. Yeah, Medic. Dr. Medic. Where, where, where does it say Seaman? Seaman. Seaman's Club. Seaman's Club. <laughs> Seaman Club. Spelled properly so we can't laugh. Can we oh. Oh, yeah. More drugs. Whoa, what's this one? Take it, take it, take it. Kitoro, what? Kitoro cortisone. Cor ah, cortisone. Oh. Hydrocortisone. <laughs> Man, the way they spell stuff. <laughs> Kitoro cortisone. Hydrocortisone is good for infections, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, actually. I might have oh, a bit of that. I almost feel like I'm back in England. Yeah. Nasty. I imagine if we could find some morphine, that'd be cool. Dorumikama. Dorumikama. I wonder if it was like plastic surgery. Yeah, it was weird that they'd have um, hydrocortisone or whatever. I can't remember what it's for. I know I know that drug though, hydrocortisone. Maybe it's for skin. Ah, oh, yeah, it's for skin. Is it? I think it's good for rashes and stuff. Or stopping inflammation. Well, how is there such big poops? Is it deer shit? Yeah, it's not pigeon. I don't know, why taste it? Give it, yeah. Um, no. No. No, not, not for that. No. Not, not into scat yet. Not, not yet. Not got to that level uh, yet. Give it Dude, did you ever hear the story about, um, I can't remember what it was called, but a place in Germany where the Nazis had like a massive headquarters. And when the Americans took it over, yeah. the Germans had deliberately flooded the basement. Okay. And they sent divers down there to see what was in there. And yeah. they, when they came back out, they were just mental. <laughs> That's hilarious. And they said like they'd seen the devil and stuff. Really? Yeah, and like they literally were just insane from that point on. What? Yeah, that sounds amazing. And now I have to look that look into that. There's nothing here. No. There's some liquid candles. Oh yeah. But anyway, after the when the like when the Yanks occupied it or whatever, mm. they drained all the water, and then they also sent people down there, and yeah. they saw weird stuff too. So they concreted it over. Seriously. And now it's a town. It's a town hall. But it's still there. That's mental. Yeah, I told you. It's the parking garage. It's, it's flooded. <gasps> oh, let's send the diver down. Oh look, it looks like we can just get out here. That was great fun, man. Yeah, I'm glad we did it, innit? You did it, innit? Innit, bub? You didn't get... Didn't arrested. get... Didn't get bummed. Andrew. It's my favourite artist, Andrew. Me too. It's down as well. Kids, that's nasty. <laughs> what did you make of that? Fan fucking tastic. Yeah. yeah was it? I saw five ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and we both had a piss. A little 
boy turned up. <laughs> find the key, so he's still there. He's still there. Just leave him. Later. The pigeons looked hungry, so leave him for the pigeons. No, it was, uh, it was way better than I thought it was. So considering it's like in the middle of like quite a busy area. Yeah. Yeah, there was <laughs> like getting into it was just nothing. <laughs> yeah, just oh, there we go. We're in. I can't believe it's just abandoned. It's crazy. I can't believe how much stuff is still in there. I know. All right, do you want to go and check out the track then? Niyama. Let's go. Yeah. I think it's just that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, nah, it is. Yeah, but no, nah, but yeah. Yeah, but now, nah, but yeah. 